And 50 days away from Christmas, and that means it's prime holiday shopping time. A new survey just revealed people are ready to shell out a lot of cash this season. And joining us to talk about the trends is Ted Rossman. He is a senior industry analyst with CreditCards.com, which did this survey. Ted, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So we have been talking a lot about the fact that the supply chain is not good right now. It's very hard to find items, and a lot of those items that you can find are priced higher than usual. What are some of the most surprising finds you found in this survey? Yeah, that's right. We see a lot of different trends really converging here. We see, on one hand, a lot of people's finances are in good shape. And they're ready to go, they've saved more, they're done with COVID, they really just want to celebrate the holidays. But then on the other hand, we have supply chain disruptions, we have inflation running at its hottest point in more than a decade. And I think a lot of people are going to be spending more than they think this holiday season. About four in 10 told us that they're likely to take on holiday debt. I fear that it may be higher than that. So we definitely want to avoid this high cost credit card debt. Think now about your budget, who you're buying for, how to get the best deals. You don't want to wait till the last minute and be caught by surprise. Absolutely. Let's talk about some of the specifics. How much did people say they are spending on gifts for children? So the average per child is $276. And then we also found people said an average of $251 for their spouse. And you can see how this really compounds because you know, you're buying for a lot of people. We think holiday travel is very much back in play this year, entertaining. This is where I think people get caught by surprise. So I think it's really important now to make a good list of who you're buying for. Also, maybe think about some money saving tactics besides the usual coupons and shopping portals and ways to save. Maybe we don't need to buy for everybody or, you know, maybe you can make something homemade. You can buy something used. The point is, we don't want you to take on really expensive credit card debt and have that January holiday hangover. Well, that makes a lot of sense. In terms of uh, men versus women here, did you find in this survey that there was a difference in the amount they would spend on their significant others? We did, actually. Yeah, we found that men are likely to spend about $300 on a gift for their spouse. Women only said about 200 So read into that uh, what you will, but it seems like some, uh, some big spending men this holiday season. <laughs> All right. Well, sounds good to the uh, women out there. That's for sure. Ted Rosman with CreditCards.com. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it.